All right there, boys and girls, back at it again. And today I've got another good one for you. Today we're taking a look at my Rai Corsair X Kianari Frost Helmet. Now this is a replica race helmet for Ryuchi Kianari. Now, if you don't know who Kianari is, he was in World Superbike last in 2019, where he rode for the Honda uh, Morawaki Afia Racing Team uh, with his teammate Leon Kamier. Um, but for 2020, he went back to uh, Japanese Superbike, uh, the 1000 class um, in 2020. And I believe he's still there for 2021 racing for the uh, the Honda team. Uh, now, Kianari had a British Superbike titles in 2006, 2007, 2010. Um, he was in World Superbike in 2008, 2009. Um, he had three wins in World Superbike history. And he's also a four-time Suzuka eight-hour winner. And he is the most, he's the rider, the, the He's the rider with the most wins who's an active rider at Suzuka. There's other riders who also have four wins, um, but he's the rider with the most wins for an active rider. Now the Kianari uh, helmet is yet again more proof that Arai make the sickest graphics available for their Japanese riders. This thing is a nuanced work of art uh the graphic is impeccable the paint the detail uh just just everything is amazing in this helmet one of the uh one of the few helmets that i've seen from arai that in where the arai logo is instead of it being a white arai logo uh they're doing it it's like a silver color they also have it where it, when you look uh like the circle around the arai logo is painted similar to the the rest of the the graphic now the graphic it's a it's a frost helmet so it's a matte finish from Mirai, and it has these dragons on the top with the claws in the center it's a symmetrical design uh well pretty much a symmetrical design from the graphic standpoint uh but it has some splatters of paint that aren't like fully symmetrical but for the most part it it has, you know, even symmetry on the one side as to the other. Um, really, really sick helmet. I don't know what that means um, back there. I think it could be Dragon or something. I'm not too sure. I think that is his nickname. Um, I just know uh, Kianari because he was in MotoGP in 2003. I remember him there, but he was only briefly in MotoGP. Um, and then he was in World Superbike and then in British Superbike. And he just, he bounced around a lot. But yet again, for a rider who isn't a, a household name, isn't as well known of a guy, they really, they really just go to, go to work on these, on these helmets for the Japanese riders, Arai. I, I've yet to seen an Arai helmet for a Japanese rider um, that isn't sick, that doesn't have a level of detail and nuance that you don't see in other riders' graphics. Gorgeous design on this one. Really nice. The dragon, subtle details, the mouth, the fangs, the whiskers there everything just so subtle so nuanced the helmet is just gorgeous you can see the scales um and the dragon there and the claws on the side and the dragon's pretty long it goes down there it goes to the side then it kind of comes back up so it's a really 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 sharp helmet uh as always inside the vents the top vents you see the the paint continues underneath and uh, they don't miss a beat there um perfect continuations on this helmet the great thing about this helmet it looks good with any visor you put in it so this will look good with a silver visor or gold visor everything except the blue um, it would look good with um, pretty much just a super super choice helmet graphic I like the paint splatter 
um, on there. Now, I, you know, like I was saying before, the, the design on the Dragon is a symmetrical design, um, you know, like the Rorschach type of thing. You know, you go down the center and it's, it's the same on either side, but the, the nuanced differences are the splatters and the paint. Um, the symbol, again, I'm not Japanese. Um, but Kinari, the Suzuka 8 Hour is a very prestigious event in Japan. And for Japanese riders, that's probably one of the, the events you probably would want to win the most. And like I said before, he is the, uh, the active rider with the most wins in the Suzuka 8 Hour. So, you know, that's... Um, so if you haven't heard of him, Ryuchi Kianari, uh, you know, no worries on that. Not everyone has heard of him, um, but if you have heard of him, if you're a fan of World Superbike or British Superbike or Japanese Superbike, which is where he still races. But it doesn't matter where he races. This is just what Arai gave to us. They blessed us with this helmet. Super choice. I like again how the Arai decal, the Arai logos are not the typical white. They are a grayish silver color and they really, really look sharp on this helmet. Uh, the vent covers are a frosted, a dark frosted color, as you can see. Um, but just really sharp looking graphic, really nice. And just further proof that. Uh, Arai makes really nice helmets, uh, helmet graphics for their Japanese riders. Uh, this is the Arai Corsair X. It's Arai's top of the line racing helmet, but it is superbly comfortable, uh, supremely comfortable, and it's just superbly built. The inside of the Corsair X, um, the liner is on another level. If you've had other Arai's, but maybe not the Corsair X, you've had lower level Arai's, um, such as like a quest or something else of that nature. Um, I would check, or the Signet, I would check into a Corsair X. It's an upgrade and it's well worth it. Uh, you know, you get what you pay for, you pay for what you get. If you're looking for a helmet that you're gonna use at the track, but also wanna wear every day, the Arai Corsair X is it. Um, tons of ventilation. You have your front chin vent, you have vents on the visor. And then the top vents there and you could you know you can control the amount of ventilation that you need in each um on each vent there they all have uh two positions of opening and closing and same with the the vents in the rear uh, you adjust those here and they they open up holes there you can kind of kind of see that plastic uh, adjustment uh, the, the arm there, the linkage kind of just moves it around. So covers the hole, uncovers it. I will say the one, the one thing that the Rai Corsair X doesn't have that, that an AGV Pista GPRR has or a Shoei X14 has is those helmets have better high speed stability. Uh, whereas a Rai just gives you this rear spoiler that could go up for more downforce, but that's really not enough. But they do sell, a Rai is selling that new GP spoiler um, which I do have um, in both the frosted color um, that I've installed on a couple helmets that are just really track helmets that aren't really to ride in every day. So I wouldn't really recommend putting the GP spoiler on your everyday helmet, but for the track helmet, um, it really is a benefit because the one area where this thing lacks just a smidgen is in that high speed stability with the high speed downforce. But that's because a ride goes for the the R75 um, shell shape there. If you've ever seen an Arai from the 90s or the 80s, they all kind of have a similar um, a shape to them, kind of like that old school traditional classic look. They don't have things that are like the, the vents that come down the side, these are all glued, uh, glued on and these can come off and if there's an accident. So you, these are replaceable, like this part here where the vents are, those are all replaceable, um, but the, the radius, of the of the helmet that r30 uh, the r75 is for you know deflection upon a crash so there's nothing like sharp or le like the back of a corsair x helmet or like a a piece of gprr that kind of protrudes in the back 
Arai opt not to go for that. They go for a more, again, their shape is a safer shape in their eyes. That's the, the design direction that they went. And if you need the more high speed stability from the Arai, they do sell uh, the GP spoiler. So if you're gonna go to the track and you want all that stuff, and you need it, then you know, buy that. It's a $50 piece or whatever the hell it is, $59.99 or something like that. And you can just order it and then it comes. It's an easy to install. Perhaps I'll do a video one day. But, um, you know, again, this helmet for me is with the amount of ventilation, the level of comfort and everything else, I would say probably the Arai Corsair X is, is the best overall helmet from any uh, manufacturer uh, in terms of comfort, ventilation, and you know, Snell rating and everything like that. Um, you know, this is what the guys in MotoGP are using, except they're putting on uh, the GP spoiler. So yeah, I always go back to Maverick Vinales, who is the factory, uh, the Yamaha, you know, factory rider in MotoGP. And I've always seen his graphics and none of them have ever really impressed me too much. He's had one or two cool ones, but, um, his last one wasn't too nice, and the one in 2019 that came out, and then the one he's wearing for this season, not as nice, but you know, this guy is just in Japanese Superbike, and they come out with such a dope graphic, and you know, just again, proves my point. Arai makes the best graphics for its Japanese riders. End of story. So if you're in the market for a new helmet, I'd highly recommend checking out the Arai Corsair X. And if you want something a little bit different with a nice subtle um, graphic to it, I would check out the Kianari Frost. Ride Corsair X Kianari Frost. As always, stay fresh.